Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to The Pete Perspective. If you are new to the channel, I just wanna say welcome. Today I wanna share a story with you guys about time where I blew it, I goofed. I think this is gonna be particularly helpful for those in three categories, all right? Young designers, up and coming designer, right? So you're just kinda like getting the ball rolling, you're starting to get a little bit of a groove, but you're up and coming still. And then just self-taught people, self-taught people who are just also maybe a little bit new to the game. Don't miss it, don't miss it, because a lot of the people that miss this are gonna end up learning the hard way like I did. If you listen to the story and get the message behind it, you are gonna be able to skip ahead of those people and have something figured out on the tail end of it. So I'm gonna share that story with you right now. Don't miss it, jump in, be invested, lean in. Let's begin. <laughs> Welcome back. Hey, if you don't mind giving me a minute of your time, you could like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, comment down below. It helps beat the algorithm on YouTube, to be honest, to be frank. I'm trying to hit some goals here on YouTube, and the end of the year is coming up, and so I just want to make sure that I can do as much as possible to reach those goals, and you guys help me do that. So thank you so much for just being invested here and for caring. It means everything. So, once upon a time, I was a young, stupid designer, and I thought I had it all figured out. And I didn't, of course. Maybe you're right there with me. But I had a client reach out, they inquired, awesome, right? I want a logo, of course. Well, logos are what I do, right? I do logos, so you came to the right guy. So I take them to Starbucks, and we hang out. We just, hey, let's meet at Starbucks, let's go, let's sip on some, some coffee, let me ask you some questions. Now let me learn a little bit more about what you're thinking. So what ends up happening? I sit there, there across the table, I have my notebook, right? I'm here with my notebook, my Baron Fig, shout out to Baron Fig, Ugh, sponsors of this video. Just kidding, not sponsored at all. Probably get arrested for that. Um, so I'm writing, I'm writing stuff down. So tell me about maybe um, some logos that you like. And not a whole lot of answers. Maybe one, one answer or whatever. Okay, so tell me about maybe some colors. Green's color, yeah, colors, okay. They gave me some some off the cuff, like, you know, they had no idea. Just telling me something to fulfill my like my question, right? Uh, tell me about, so essentially what I was doing was asking them all these questions that they had not prepared for. I had not given them questions in advance, which was the least I could have done. And what ended up happening was that I was just throwing all these curveballs their way and they weren't expecting any of it. And in fact, they had no idea why we were meeting to begin with because they were expecting to be brought through a process, okay? A process, 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 process. This is so important for designers. We need to have a process. We need to be able to show someone how we can take them from point A to point B, which is finished product, finished deliverable, whatever that is. In brand strategy, the goal is a little different, right? We're not trying to end, the end product is not a deliverable per se, it's more than that. And, but with design and brand identity, a lot of the times it's like you're doing all these things to eventually give them a packaged brand that they can use going forward. And so what ended up happening in the story was that I got home and I thought I crushed it, you know? I thought I was awesome. And the reality of it was is that I sucked and I was a loser, and not a loser. I just, you think you have it all figured out and you don't, right? And so I got home and they pretty much reached out and said, hey, we're gonna go in a different direction as it relates to the logo because we are really wanting someone who can like walk us through this process of like creating a logo and someone who can really bring their expertise. And it's not that I didn't have those expertise, but the lack of having any sort of formal process really made them uncomfortable and made me feel very unprofessional. And so the other person got the job and that was the best thing that ever happened to me. The best thing that ever happened to me because it was in that experience that I knew like I need to actually take this seriously. Like these are people's businesses that I'm doing work for, right? Like their livelihoods. And I think the fact that I would never have said that I wasn't taking it seriously, but the fact that I didn't have a process in place, the fact that I didn't have the intentionality to really sit down and think about how I'm gonna help them and what process I'm gonna take them through to help them was essentially saying, I don't care that much about your business. That's a problem. As a designer, that's a problem because we're in the problem solving business and if we don't care about their problems or their business, then really we don't deserve that work. 
someone else does and that's exactly what happened to me someone else deserved that work that time more than I did so what I did was I doubled down on my process I got on QuickBooks to organize all my finances I got on as many like client management softwares as I could at the time right now I'm using HoneyBook shout out to HoneyBook HoneyBook if you're out there yo sponsor a video I would love to make it happen <laughs> yeah so right now I'm just using HoneyBook and QuickBooks but HoneyBook has helped me to really like lay out my process and my you know my funnel in a lot of ways and, and help them go from hey they inquire right so there's the inquiry phase and then I send them a form to fill out uh, very short just like hey details timeline budget um, those sorts of things and then we go from that to a discovery call and I learn all the ins and outs of the project and then we schedule the project once you know we send a proposal of course they sign it all that sort of stuff we schedule it once the project starts it's design client review revisions all that sort of stuff working our way towards the final approval and then package you know package all the files up and send them back to the client so more or less I just wanted to share that really quickly because I think that a lot of young designers think that talent and that creativity will get them to sign some of these bigger con contracts and you can get lucky right there are people who are the anomalies they get lucky they can make it happen without the things like without a process but process and organization is really what's gonna start to establish yourself as a business that moment when I established myself and created a process and a workflow for, for my work and my project that was the moment I feel like I became a business. I went from a freelancer to a business owner. And that's a big difference. You can view yourself as a freelancer. You can just take on projects and whatever, get extra cash as it comes in. Nothing wrong with that, if, especially if it's a side hustle. But if you want to eventually make this thing your full-time thing, like you really need to focus on that process. And know that it's not just for your benefit, but it's actually impacting the clients that you're working with already and the clients that you're gonna work with in the future because I believe that your best days as a designer are really in front of you. If, if you can invest the time into your process, invest the time into your business by making yourself better. So don't miss the opportunity to learn from a mistake. Next time somebody reaches out to you and they say, hey, can I get a logo? Can I get this poster? Can I get this album art? I just want you to know, man, let's funnel them through a process that guides them along step by step because a lot of people don't necessarily know how to go through that process and, and educate people along the way, right? Like you can be someone who's a creative partner, not just the designer, not just the freelancer, but really a creative partner so that whenever they have questions, whenever they have anything surrounding creativity, they come to you first. I have clients and stuff that will come to me for photography stuff I'm not a photographer but they're like hey we want to do this project what are your thoughts on it and either I can recommend someone or can at least art direct and say like hey like you know style the shoot or whatever but they, they look to you more of a, of a creative partner rather than just a designer and that's so crucial that's so important when you're looking to build a business and really start to generate some serious income so anyways I want to share that with you guys I hope you're doing well learn from my mistakes and yes this is the P perspective I will catch you guys in the next video take care to the end of the video thank you for sticking around liking this video commenting subscribing it helps the channel out a lot catch me on some of the other social platforms i'm on instagram and twitter at pete underscore underscore rodriguez you could also find me on dribble behance and of course my website and i just want you to know your perspective matters this is our community it's you and i we're in it together right i'll see you guys next time